Thank you, and thank you for your introduction, Dean Delaney. I welcome friends, family, distinguished guests, and this amazing faculty. And a special hello and a huge congratulations to all of my graduates. It is truly an honor to bring greetings on behalf of the graduates of the Doctorate of Philosophy and the Doctorate of Nursing Practice. I want to acknowledge I would not be here today if it were not for my incredible husband, my children, family, friends, and all of the amazing faculty and colleagues behind me on this stage. We all had those special people that supported our journey. To all those individuals, know your support was priceless and means more to us than you will ever know. Today is as much your celebration as it is ours. From my bio, you can probably tell I like school and love to learn. <laughs> Very early on, I realized education is transformative. Each of us graduating today may have had that same realization. Education can be the catalyst for change and allow us to be the change we want to see. To me, education is powerful. Yes, hard work at times, but it also means opportunity, possibility, and new discovery. Education has provided the opportunity to not only improve my own life, but also make a difference for others as well. This is a huge reason why I chose to be a nurse. I wanted to make a difference. There's no question we're moving into unprecedented times and uncharted waters and can sometimes feel chaotic and unsettling. Healthcare is no exception to this. The bright spot I see is as nurses, we're in a prime position to be the calm in this chaos and be the driving force for change. For an example, we are a role model for quality care, we speak for those that may not have a voice, and we demonstrate effective leadership even when the odds may not be in our favor. I urge each of you to skirt the edges of being uncomfortable, or as I've heard it called, comfortably uncomfortable. This is where the magic and change can happen. As I spoke before, education is transformative. At the same time, gaining new knowledge comes with responsibility. I recently saw a quote, to truly find yourself, put yourself in service of others. I invite each of you to reflect on moments of transformation, the responsibility of your new knowledge, and ask yourself, how will I be in service to others? As healthcare professionals and future leaders, we have a responsibility and a dedication to service, to improve the health and well-being of individuals, families, communities, and our planet. As we go forward and step out into our careers, we now have the honor of calling ourselves alumni at the University of Minnesota School of Nursing. It is important to recognize this is continuous, the first continuously operated school of nursing on a university campus, and this next year in 2019 marks the 110th year. I want us to pause and think of those amazing nurses that have come before us. We know we did not get here alone. I want us to imagine we stand not on the shoulders of those that came before us, but linked arm in arm to represent and honor the legacy and history of our profession, and also to symbolize the connection with our future full of possibility and opportunity. Wherever your career takes you, know that you have a home here at the University of Minnesota School of Nursing. This is our community. If you remember anything, it is to use your education to be the change you want to see, be in service to others, and get comfortable with being uncomfortable. My final thought is this. For the last 16 years, the nursing profession has been voted the most trusted profession. This is quite an honor. Now it is up to us to not let that go. Thank you and congratulations to my fellow graduates of 2018.